Good day, subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Jeremy. This is the Financial Education Channel, and today we're talking stock market terminology. I had this video suggested that I should do stock market terms, and I realized that, you know, when I was really young and when I was learning about stocks, and I would watch CNBC and Bloomberg and some of these channels and whatnot, they would throw around all these terms. That I had no clue what the heck they meant. And so I thought it'd be great since a ton of my subscribers and a lot of people that watch the videos that maybe haven't subscribed, you guys have a lot of questions about some of these terms I throw around on videos. I say this and I say that and you're like, what does that mean? What does that mean? I know it can be confusing. It took me probably almost a year, probably almost a year of watching CNBC almost every day to finally understand almost everything they would talk about. It took me really two or three years until I really knew pretty much everything. So it is very confusing. It's like when you hear someone talking about stock market and financials and things, and especially if they do not know how to communicate with uh, what I would say regular people, people like myself, and they're so used to just talking with their friends and their buddies and colleagues and whatnot about this stuff, it sounds like they're speaking a foreign language. It literally does. You're like, what the heck? They said 10 words in that sentence and nine of them, I had no clue what the heck they meant. So I, I completely understand why this video is going to be helpful. So this is part one today. I'm going to start off with really super basic terms. So if you understand super basic terms, you might just want to click off of the video now <laughs> or just stay around and watch because maybe there's something I know or you don't know, I should say. And then I'm going to do parts maybe every week. I'll do a video and I'll get more complex. And as I get more complex, you will know more and more as the weeks go on. So I may start this as an every week series. Leave a comment in the comments section if you're interested in this. Let's go into this. First one I have is ticker symbol. You hear someone say, hey, what's the ticker symbol for that stock? That Every stock that trades on the market, it has a specific ticker symbol that you can look up to see its stock price, and that's the, that's the symbol that it trades under as a stock. So for instance, it's Apple. It doesn't trade under Apple. It trades under AAPL. AAPL. That is Apple's um, stock ticker symbol. So if you want to go on Yahoo Finance and look up Apple's stock price and its financials and all those things, you type in AAPL, and then all that will pull up. Uh, Pandora, the internet uh, streaming service, their ticker symbol is P. You, When you go public as a company, you get to pick what your ticker symbol is going to be as long as it's something that hasn't already been taken on that NASDAQ exchange or the NYSE or whatever exchange. So that's what a ticker symbol means. Number two, online brokerage. You hear people say, set up an online brokerage account. Or a lot of people ask me, how do you actually invest in stocks? You need to set up an online brokerage account. What that is, is it's like um, Scott Trade, E Trade, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, um, TD Ameritrade, a lot of those services, they're what's called online brokerages. And you make an account with them and you can funnel money through your bank account into those accounts so then you can actually invest in a stock or a bond or whatever it is you're trying to invest in. That's what an online brokerage is. Number three, a bull market. What's a bull market? My bull over there, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if the screen's quite wide enough. There's a bull over there. That symbolizes a bull market. What a bull market means is stocks are going up. That means the whole market's doing great. That's what they call a bull market when the stocks are just going to the moon. Bull market. That's why I have a bull. Bear market. What's a bear market? You hear people say, oh, it's a bear market right now. You don't want to invest. Bear markets when stocks are going down. That's a bear market. So bull market, good thing. Bear market, not a good thing. Um, if you're bullish on a stock, you'll hear people like myself say, I'm bullish on this stock. I'm bullish on this stock. What does that mean? That means I believe that stock's going up. I'm bullish. A bull means the stock market's going up. So if I'm bullish on a stock, I believe a particular stock is going up. If I say I'm bearish on a stock. Bear means what? Bearish market means the whole market's going down. So if I'm bearish on a stock, that means I believe a particular stock is going down. Down. Um, I'm along. You hear people all the time say, I'm long this stock. 
I'm a long. I'm long this stock. What does that mean? That means you're in that stock for the long term. You want to be a long-term investor in that company. So you're not looking to trade that. You're not looking to sell it real quick. None of those kinds of things. You're long that stock. You believe in it in the future. It's going to do great. I'm a short. I'm short that stock. What's that mean? That means you're a short seller of that stock. You believe that stock is going down over time. Doesn't necessarily mean you believe it's going down for the long term, but it means you believe it's going down at some point, whether it's in the short term or long term. That means I'm short. I'm short. I think that stock's going down. It's a hold. You hear people say, oh, that stock, it's a hold. What that means is if you're a new investor in that stock, you don't buy it. But if you're already invested in that stock, to hold it, that you want to hold it right now. So if you haven't invested, don't jump in now. But if you are already holding the shares, you hold it. It's a hold. That stock's a hold right now. So that's one of the um, things that's known on the market. There's three things analysts usually either mark stock, stock, excuse me, stocks as. They either say it's a buy, it's a hold, or it's a sell. And if someone says it's a sell, that means it's a sell. Um, if an analyst or somebody, they say it's a sell. That stock's a sell. That means sell that stock. Get out of that stock. It's a bad stock or whatever. That doesn't mean actually do it because sometimes analysts don't have freaking clue what they're talking about. But if you hear someone say that, that means they're actually bearish on that stock. So I hope this helped immensely, guys. I could cover like 800 terms, if not 8,000 terms in these videos. I want to try to keep them somewhat short. Like I like to try to keep my videos all between 5 and 15 minutes. And if I cover too many terms, it's too much knowledge at once. I may bump this up. If you guys think you can handle more terms in a video, I may bump this up to 15 terms or 20 terms per video. And I might just start doing this every single week. One day a week, I'll cover financial terms so you guys can learn. But please let me know in the comments section if this is helpful. If it is, leave a thumbs up. And you know what, guys? Have a great day. Thank you.